Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. So, um, as you guys just, well, I don't know if you guys know, but I just saved the game and we just woke up. Uh, that's what's just happened. Now we're going to go ahead over to Bonnie and let's go see what Bonnie's got for us. Alright. Got a bit of a, whoa, hello. That was a pop-in texture. Alright. See what we're going to get up to today. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. <laughs> See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You gentlemen in bowler hats. I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. All right. She's racing a wounded man. <laughs> All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Whoa there. Yeah. Come on. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I, I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! Come! You're gonna wear that horse out! Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> I remember how horses work in this game. Would you like me to slow down? I'll wait for you to catch up. Come on. Come on, boy. Are you saving the best for last? Whoa. I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland. Go. How you doing back there? Yeah. Yeah. I got the way there a little bit. I don't really remember the exact way. You call yourself a rancher? Oh, no, you don't! Alright. Doing good, doing good. They'll be all over the place. Oh shit, we need to turn left. No, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I forgot what button it was to, um... To stop the horse and I pressed the wrong button. That didn't go very well. I forgot it's the bumper. Uh, so it's practically handbrake. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! 
That's all right. I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this. You don't know right, me. Now I remember the way a little bit better. Let's go. Just got the stammer of the horse there down a little bit. Let's go, Miss McFarland! Let's go! I think it was jumping over whatever we hit just before we fell down the cliff board got us. Now, now I know the way a little bit better. This Whoa, is gonna she's, be she's, uh, Come on! She's getting a little bit far ahead of us this yeah! time. You can't pull them back on the on the reins to slow down the bloody horse. Try to stay with right me now. Us. Oh shit! I don't like bridges. You'll have to do better than that. You're doing better the first yeah. time. There we go. Isn't this jolly? This bit here what got us. There we go, we're across. Okay, I think this is the home straight. Come on! Come on, horse. Let's go. Neck and neck, Miss McFarland! How those injuries feeling, Mr. Marston? Go! There we go. Whoa! Good old win. <laughs> that was fun. Sure. You know. You should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. All right. There we go. Our fame's going up there a little bit. All right, so we've got a marshal. Uh. Johnson, a mission available in Amadillo. Oh, we've got uh, Bonnie here. Um, you know what? While we're still here, we'll uh, we'll just do a few more Bonnie missions. Why not? Next episode, we'll head into town and. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Mr. McFarland. How are you? We'll do them. I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies, and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Take the reins, Mr. Marston. Okay, yeah, will do. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. Oh shit. I'm not, miss. Yes, they turned to go right, and I turned to go left, and they stayed straight. 
I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Right. There we you go. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, oh, as far shit. as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. Kind of fella laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back. And I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. Yeah, right now we're trying to get past all these idiots here. Um, riding in a line. Blocking off the road. How well do you know New Austin? I know. We talked about coming down here many times, but never made it. Who's we? Me and the folks I used to, used to work with. Yeah, New Austin. The last real outlaw country, where the old ways still hold true. Do a man wrong, he'll shoot you for it. Do a man right, well, he still may shoot you for it. But at least <laughs> you have an idea of what's right and what's wrong there. Dear, oh dear, Mr. Marston, what dreadful novel did you get that romanticized drivel out of? Those days are long gone, if they were ever here at all. According to Paul, those days were just people shooting each other because they lost the cars. We'll be lucky if our ranch survives another five years. Businessmen are the new cowboys. All right. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. <laughs> Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. All right. Let's head to the doctor's office. See what the doctor's got for us. Not feeling ill, I hope. Need some laudanum? Uh, no, we need uh, some free medicine. I'm not sure what it does, but we're getting it. Thank you. He sold out already, really? We only have one left. Never heard of stock in this town. Right, let's head back over to Bonnie. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. All right. Yeah, we're really close to the fort again. Wow, she got some supplies. Holy crap. Alright, yep, there's the Armadillo stagecoach. Can't remember. I, I know it costs money, but I don't remember how much it costs. There we go, our Honor. Honor? Our. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm not even going to attempt to re try and re say that, but whatever. Ah. <laughs> uh. Right, while we're here, we might as well just pick up uh, the sheriff's mission. Why not? Uh, we're here. We might as well just do it. I was going to pick it up in the next episode, but we'll uh, we'll help this mission now. Now we'll probably head back to Bonnie's farm, probably. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you! Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. 
Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting keep with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. <laughs> Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright, but he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon needs shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. <laughs> Saloons this way. Right. Just walk down the middle of the street for? like it's uh two bit hoodlums led by this fella called Walton. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon. Happy? No. The way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Just walk down the middle of the street like it's the Wild uh, West. There's a dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Walton's the top screw. Let's get after him. Damn, he's seen us. Come on, don't lose him. Is he? All right, let's go. Get on your horse. Come on. Go. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. 
Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walt's gang's been growing fast. That lawn's easy money for easy work. Shoulder Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Ooh, there. Love the music in this game. <laughs> oh. Wildlife. He's headed for Pleasant's house. Let's stop so we can get a better look. All right. Why do you want to stop? Looks like we got company, boys. All right, that gives us uh, right to shoot back. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. Sounds good to me. Marston, I got you covered. Move up to that wagon. Marston, take that bastard behind the tree. I'll kill you. You boys don't frighten me much. No, now move up to that crate. I'll cover you. Take that fella behind the rock, boy. Yeah, he's down. Right now, I'm going to move up to the outhouse. shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. See you next time. Alright, I think what we'll do is we'll have a nice uh, ride over to Bunny's and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, let's call for our horse. Oh, which is right here. Alright, we'll head up to uh, Bunny's. Uh, use the good old map. Wow, well, yeah, we've got quite far to go. We'll head back up to Bunny, see what she's got for us, and then we'll, uh, we'll bounce between uh, Bunny and uh, the Marshal. I think by the time we get there, we'll uh, we'll probably end the episode. Come on. Yeah, but the graphics really aren't that bad. Like I thought, like the graphics were going to be so bad to the point of where it's going to look crap. But I forgot actually how good this game uh, looks. Come on. It's actually not bad at all. Quickly fast travel um, by using the uh, the back button. Even though I have no clue what the new buttons are called on the Xbox One controller, I just call it the button with the three lines and the box on. Either the one with the boxes or the one with the three lines. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what they are called, right? We need to stop. Seems to be a, a line going through there, but I don't know. Oh, getting stuck. Come on. So I'm paying more attention to the map. Good, good job, you. Oh. Hit the uh, sprint button there one too many times. 
Right, there we go. We're good. Right, let's head over to Bonnie. Let's see what she's got to do. In the next episode, that'll be anyway. We'll get there. But uh, just looking at uh, what Rockstar's put out about the new um, Red Dead Redemption, it looks uh, looks pretty goddamn awesome. I can't wait until that, uh, that game comes out and I can record some. That's why I'm doing this uh, series right now. I'm trying to get as much done here so we remember what this game's like and then plus then at least I've got another game on the channel as well for people to watch. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. If you are, hit that like button. If you're not, the dislike button's right next door. If you haven't hit subscribe already, hit that subscribe button. I'm probably going to say that again at the end of the episode once we get there. Uh, and also let me know if you want me to skip the like all this uh, long travel like this, where it's just me talking and we're just slowly getting from place to place. Because I can uh, cut out this if you want me to. It just means that the episodes might be a bit shorter. But to be honest with you, right now, whoa, hello. Right now, this is just filler content. But anyway, I hope everybody's having a good week so far and everything. Um, I think what I'm doing as of this week, I'm uploading two videos a day again. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not yet, but uh, as of right now, as recording these, that is my plan. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we're here at uh, McFarlane's Ranch again. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm actually going to end this one here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, hit that like button. If you haven't, hit the dislike button. It's right next door. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this one here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. We're going to head up Bonnie there in the next one. But anyway, guys, yet again, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Morgan? <laughs>